Sir KB is asking, Aether's Republic, what are your thoughts on the Will Smith Chris Rock fiasco. So Armin talked a little bit about his opinion on a recent secular jihadists Q and A. I haven't talked about it yet. Um, I think if I mean if you don't know what happened, you're literally living under a rock. Um, so <laughs> Chris, I mean not Chris, Will Smith was 100% in the wrong. This is undebatable. <laughs> um, you cannot assault someone because they said a joke that you don't like. Um, it's ridiculous. It's absurd. He and Bear, Will Smith embarrassed the F out of himself. Um, and I mean, there's so many different aspects to this that I could talk about. Um, one, the joke that Chris Rock got smacked over was one of the most mild, watered down, milk toast, nothing of a joke ever. Um, the Oscars is so they they water down and censor their comedians so much. Every little thing that they say is approved by, you know, numerous executives. Chris Rock didn't probably didn't even write that joke. It was probably some writer. Um, I didn't even understand the joke. So like I had to kind of look it up and it have it be explained to me. The reference to GI Jane is 20 years old. Like it's for such an older audience. Most people are like probably not even familiar with that movie. Um, the fact, so a lot of people are, you know, making, having a lot of opinions about, is it okay to make fun of Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith? Um, because she has a, a, you know, a medical condition where she loses her hair called alopecia. There's many different kinds of alopecia. Um, I think it's okay to make fun of someone's medical condition. Honestly, people are like, oh, this should be, you know, off limits. That's not the case. You know, there are people, when you go to the Oscars, you know that celebrities will be roasted. The executives hire comedians as the hosts, one for entertainment, and to give some bare semblance of an appearance that this isn't just a party for rich people to congratulate themselves, right? Because that's all that this is. And to try to humanize them and bring them down to size a little bit, or, or at least give the wider audience that feeling. So the fact that Will Smith and Jada couldn't handle this just shows their extreme entitlement. Um, in terms of the whole medical condition thing, we make fun of men who are bald all the time. Like it's expected. Like they're treated, their baldness is treated as the butt of a joke constantly. Now for women, it might be more, more sensitive because, you know, there's such a um, uh, worth or value put on women's hair in terms of their own beauty standards, right? But they're, when people say that, they're downplaying the fact that men have that too. Men who are balding and their hair is thinning are deeply insecure about it and struggle with it greatly. Um, so I, people are acting like that. We don't already not like, don't consider people's feelings on that already. Um, it's, I've receiving oh. the award for best actor, even after he assaulted the host on live television. Um, that didn't completely surprise me because, you know, the awards are still chosen. Who wins is chosen well in advance. So, and it's on the basis of their performance, right? It's not their behavior at any given time. Um, so I wasn't completely surprised that he still won the award. I'm surprised that he was allowed to sit there. I'm allowed, I'm surprised that he was allowed to give his insane, unhinged ta tangent of an acceptance speech and that people still gave him a standing ovation for it. Um, I, yeah, like I'm not someone who usually has a bad taste in my mouth over the Hollywood elites. Like there's a certain brand of person who's constantly ranting about the Hollywood elites and I'm not that person, but this event really put a really sour taste in my mouth. And it really was a reflection of some of the worst impulses of the Hollywood elite. Um, I think that it is a, not a reflection of Will of Chris Rock 
specifically. I think it was, and Will basically said this in his acceptance speech, is is more to do with the fact that uh, the abuse and mockery he faces from the internet in general because of his relationship with Jada and their open relationship and how she has sex with other men. He has sex with other women, but he receives much more abusive behavior and mockery towards it than she does. Um, I think Jada is potentially an emotionally abusive person. Um, I think that Will Smith is in dire need of therapy and intervention, someone who will really keep it real for him. Um, and it seems like they're just the, like the, the Smith family is doubling down on this event, um, which is shameful. And, um, it'll be really interesting to see how this goes, like what happens in, in the aftermath of this and if this affects his career at all. Um, it was just a shit show. Now I will say it does make for a good television. And this is the most interesting thing that has happened to the Oscars for the past 10 years, whose ratings have been declining for a long time and no one cares. No one like few people tune in. Um, it's losing its importance. So for them, this is, going to be a huge boost and very much to their benefit of the Academy. Um, yeah, it, it was, Will Smith just seems like a deeply unwell man. And it's so stupid because if Will Smith wanted people to keep Jada's name out of their mouth, this is the worst thing that he could have done because people are saying, oh, your wife's bald head, that's off limits for you, Will Smith. I'm going to come for your throat with the most disrespectful memes towards your wife and your marriage that I have ever seen. My friend Mujahed has been sending me absolutely savage memes mocking in the most disrespectful way the Smith family in every way, shape, or form. Like, if you thought it was so brutal before, Will, you opened up the gates of hell on yourself. It is next level brutality now. It's like, it's like, bow! Oh, you want another? Bow! Thank you! You want another? Bow! Like, it's... <laughs> they, yeah. So they're, they're ultimately going to get exactly the opposite of the attention that they wanted. There are a lot of people, millions of people, millions of people who did not know about the intricacies of Will's and Jada's marriage before. They, the messiness, the intense messiness. They sure as hell know now. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of... <laughs> that was... <laughs> okay, that was, that was interesting. Thank you for that, Zara. We should clip this part early for because it might get a little bit. Soon. But okay, cool. It seemed like you had a lot to. You were waiting for somebody to ask this because you wanted to put that on. <laughs> oh, I could go on. I could go yeah. on. I could go yeah. on. It's, okay, good, good. Oh my God! One. So I was watching the comedian <laughs> Andrew Schultz do a roast of Will Smith last night, and he said, "Um, uh, <laughs> Something along the lines of like, um, Will Smith slapped uh, Chris Rock with an open palm, much like the relation. No, but he wanted it to be closed, much like his marriage with Jada Smith. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.